Hearthstone has a giant flaw. After every expansion, Blizzard will release a mini set with brand new cards. But this has only been the case since Madness at the Dark Moon Fair. That means there were 15 expansions that didn't have a mini set. 14 if you don't count the Scent of Dragons. Well, I've set out on a mission to correct this mistake. Welcome to the 8th episode of Miniset Miracles, a series where I go back to each older expansions and try to create the minisets myself. In this episode, we'll venture into the miniset I made for The Witchwood. The Witchwood took place in the region of Gilneas, an isolated kingdom that has recently experienced a civil war and then an outbreak of a terrible pandemic. The Gilneans all got COVID. Sorry, they got turned into the Wargren, half man, half wolf creatures that prowl in the night. This miniset will tell a follow-up story to the Witchwood, chosen by you guys. You see, just as the Gilneans started to get things under control, they were invaded by an outside faction. The undead known as the Forsaken had come for Gilnean lands. The name of this miniset is... Invasion of Gilneas. I've made many new cards for this video, but first let me quickly explain the rules for this series. The plan is that these cards would get released to standard Hearthstone today, with cards for all 11 classes using modern keywords. The entire Witchwood expansion would also get re-released to standard alongside these cards. Now that's out of the way, let's look at one of the Minisets' four legendaries, the Lady in Red. My veins are on fire! You might remember that Priest got the Lady in White in the Witchwood main set. Well, this is her sister, probably. The Lady in Red is a 5 mana 5-5 five, five undead for Warrior that will cast Inner Rage on every minion in your deck when played. If you forgot what Inner Rage is, it's a 0 mana Warrior spell that will deal 1 damage to a minion and then give it plus 2 attack. So in other words, Lady in Red will deal 1 damage to all minions in your deck and then give them plus 2 attack. Warrior got a lot of rush cards in the main set, so this could be support to that. Or you could run this alongside cards that will gain a bonus while damaged. But if any minion is reduced to zero health this way, they will be destroyed from your deck. Okay, so I said this theme was chosen by you guys, what do I mean by that? Well last week I put out a poll on the channel with a few options for a theme, and most of you voted for the option called Forsaken Invasion of Gilneas. So I've tried my best to represent both the Forsaken and the Worgen in this miniset, and it turns out the Witchwood was the perfect expansion for this sort of conflict. You see, the Witchwood already had two factions, through even and odd decks. Some cards would trigger a bonus if your deck has only even or odd cost cards. You probably remember the most famous Gen and Baku. In this miniset, even and odd decks would return to represent this conflict, with even cards representing the Worgen, and with odd cards representing the Forsaken. Each faction would also get a neutral legendary minion, such as Ivor Bloodfang for the Worgen. Gilneas will rise again! <gasps> Ivar is a 6 mana 5 6 legendary neutral minion, and if your deck has only even cost cards when playing him, he will summon 2 3 3 Raging Worgens and then give them charge. If you don't remember this card, Raging Worgen is a 3 mana 3 3 minion from the classic set that has plus 1 attack and wind fury while damaged. You could use the Raging Wargans to deal 6 damage to face immediately. Or if they remove a minion first and they survive, you could deal 8 damage to face. The Forsaken would of course also get a legendary minion, Grand Executor Mortus. It's working! <laughs> Mortis is a 5 mana 5-5 five, five undead, and if all cards in your deck are odd cost cards when playing him, he will cover your opponent's battlefield with Blight. What this means is that he will fill your opponent's battlefield with locations with one durability that will increase the cost of your opponent's next card by one when used, so the opponent will have to increase the cost of their cards if they want to be able to use their battlefield again. The Witch would also introduce the new keyword Echo. Cards with Echo would add a temporary copy of themselves to your hand when played, which would then get discarded at the end of the turn. But the copies couldn't cost less than one mana. This miniset would also introduce some new cards with Echo, including ones for the classes that didn't get one in the main set. The last card I made is the final legendary of the miniset, Lorna Crowley for Hunter. Slay 
slay these unholy creatures. Lorna is a 4 mana 1 6 legendary minion with Rush, and when you play her, she will set the health of a random minion in your opponent's hand, deck, and battlefield to 1. And because she has Rush, she can take out the one on the battlefield immediately. For Gilneas! Well, that's all I had for you today. Let me know what you thought about the cards in the comments below and hit that subscribe button for more custom Hearthstone content. Oh, and the channel recently turned one year old, thanks to everyone who's been watching along the way, and here's to many more years for the channel. And with that said, I'll see ya next time!